I'm going to say we're going to have kind of a serious segment, but maybe not because i got a special guest here. Uh, we've talked a lot about in the media, or heard in the media, about uh, truancy and that tug of war between guardian, student, parent, and the school saying, yeah, there's more important things for me to do as a kid than go to school. I can get things down the street. I don't need school. Have you heard that one before? I never did. I tried to play hooky. My mother said, you're going to school, and I paid attention. So when we want to talk about truancy, I wasn't a real good one to talk about it because I still hear my mom's voice in my ear saying, you better be on time, and my Marine Corps father saying, you better be 10 minutes early. So I've invited the pros. Yeah. Now, I'm not really sure who brought who here, Deputy Bob. Uh, I brought an inmate show here today. But, but he's, the, he's the resident expert, I understand. Oh, he knows a lot about things like that. Now, he told me before we came on, just as you were taking him out of the blue box, <laughs> talking to the guy. Then I'm going to step aside and let you two talk about it. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, okay. I like that idea. Well, I'm going to yeah. pitch you a question then. Okay. What makes you an expert on truancy? Well, I've been around the block a few times, you know. Okay. It's part of my heritage, you know. I'm a mannequin American, you know. Yeah, you didn't know that, did you? Yeah, yeah I saw yeah. yeah. So, okay, you're wearing the black and white. For a reason? Uh, we'll talk about that in a little while. Okay, why don't right? the two of you talk about it then? Yeah. Right. Talk among yourselves here. <laughs> All right, inmate Joe. Yeah. What are you back in jail for this time? Not attending school. Not attending school. Why don't you want to go to school? Well, I don't mind going to school there. Uh, say after I get there, I don't like it. Well, to be in school, you got to learn your lessons and you got to come and do your homework you know you got to learn the three r's if you're in school yeah but i don't go to school a lot i skip it you know well virginia law says that parents must send their children to school every day ages five through seventeen yeah i know that i got an answer to that when they drop me off at school i go in the door and make a u-turn and come back out i'm oh, not so fast we I mean not so fast Virginia law also says that students have a responsibility to go to school. Yeah, but I don't like going to school. Joe, you gotta learn the three R's. Well, I'm not a dummy, man. I, I know what the three R's are, you know? You do? Yeah. What are they? Uh, rest, relaxation, and recreation. Well, that's not the answer that I'm looking for. No, it isn't? It's the wrong answer. Uh, well, I got lots of wrong answers, you know. Well, the right answer, of course, is reading, writing, and arithmetic. Yeah, but you don't understand their debt, they thought they don't like going to school because it's hard, you know. Well, all things good are worth working for, like going to school. Yeah, that's what you say. Half my friends get school, you know. Well, that's why some people in school don't pass the standards of learning tests and other tests. Why? Because you're not there. Oh, well, that's a good reason. <laughs> But I'm not stupid, though. I mean, ask me to spell a word. I can spell anything. Go ahead, ask me anything. All right, spell the word horse. Oh, that's easy. H-O-R-S, horse. What's at the end of it? Uh, a tail. Oh, you got to do better than that. you got to stop spelling things like you're on Facebook. You can't get by it with that Facebook spelling in school. Well, yeah, well, what can I say, you know? Hey, ask me another question, all right? You kind of... Check me out on that one. All right, tell me how fast does light travel? Oh, man, he's always asking me the hard ones here, you know. Well, I, I got to give you an honest answer. I don't know how fast light travels. Did I know one thing? It gets here too early in the morning. How about that? Joe, you got to do better than that. You got to come to school every day and learn to listen. Well, how do you learn? By taking notes in class and do your homework. Well, I do that. Since when? Since I've been copying Nancy's notes and homework. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no, yeah, no cheating is wrong. Well, cheating doesn't hurt Nancy, you know. She passed the standards of learning tests and other tests, but you failed. Well, I think that it can't be smart there, you know. What can I say? Maybe that's true. Everybody can't be smart, but everybody can go obey the law by going to school. You're being hard on me. You don't get it, do you? Yeah, I do. I get it all. I caught the Nancy's notes and homework. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Joe, 
you have to obey the law. If you don't obey the law, you're going to learn about jail. Yeah, I know about jail. I had to go to the juvenile domestic relations court, talk to the judge. And that's how I got these ten strikes on me again, you know. I don't like it in jail. Well, when you get out, you get another chance to go back to school. Then I don't want to go to school. This is America. I got my freedom. Yeah, I can do what I want to do. Not exactly. You abuse your freedom, you can lose it just like you did this time wearing these pinstripes in jail. So the choice is yours and the students as well. Go to school, obey the law, or learn about jail. Ugh, what a choice. What a choice, Bob. That's right, what a choice. And yeah, yeah. One of the things that, I, that always drove me is if I, I grew up in a fairly large suburban part of Washington, but if I was walking the street at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, there was a good chance that somebody was going to call me mom. Mm. Is that, I mean, that's kind of the community we really have to kind of rebuild, isn't it? It is, uh, because everybody is indoors now, and they have their air conditioning on, and their super TVs and iPods, people don't pay attention as much. Yeah, and it's, and of course, uh, I'm sure he, uh, this buddy here thought he was different. He wouldn't have the same impact. You don't right? think you're going to get caught, you know? You think you're invincible, you know? Yeah, until you get caught. <laughs> but it's a bigger issue than not getting caught going to school. It's getting caught out and not being prepared for that very long life you've got ahead of you. That's right. Yeah, that's what he says, you know. Maybe yeah. I ought to listen to him. What do you think? Probably so. Yeah. And I know I listened to my mom. I had a mom to listen to. Yeah, 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 I did. Uh, yeah, well, you had a good mom, I did. I think so. Yeah. Did so, you, yeah. okay, now that she didn't go to school, what, what the, besides the consequences, how are you going to make up for it? i got to go to summer school, man. Why are they he's out having fun? i got to go to summer school. I don't want to go to summer school. Well... Bob, you know, you can pay now or pay later. Right? There you go again. And that's a tough lesson, I think, for some of us to try to yeah. communicate because it's so much different today than it was when we were kids. Yeah. So, yeah, you had to go to school when we were kids. But when he's a kid, it's different. It's not, is it? No, I guess not. Yeah, it's not. Because you still have to learn if you want to be a success. You want to get that good job, go to college. Deputy Bob, I want to thank both of you because you use your position to try to communicate what's doing right in the community. But I want to appeal to the viewer. When it comes to truancy, it's all of our issues. It's not just the kid that's walking down the street or their parents that may not know they're walking down the street. It's as a, the entire community. Because you know what? To have uh, this guy, inmate Joe, who's lost out, be part of our community, we've got to embrace him and support him. But can you imagine if he knew how to spell horse and could help embrace and be a mentor for someone else? That's the difference. Thanks for this segment. When we